Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will be making a CSV file out of a TXT file using Python. Now this is the file that I will be working with. It is a list of students and we will be turning it into a CSV file which can be opened using Excel or Numbers or in, in fact any form of spreadsheet. So first of all let's create a controller. There we go, controller.py and then secondly, let's have a look at the file. It's a list of students. The first column is their ID, second column is name, then gender, and then finally, they have the grades. In order to work with this, I will be making student objects and putting them in a list of students. So let's create a class to make our student object. So first of all, I'll be needing to add the parameters. Since there were four parameters that were given in the txt file, which were ID, name, gender, and grade, I'll be adding the same to my class. There we go, our student class is done. Now we need to import the student class into our controller in order to be, to be able to work with it. So from student, import student. Now I'm going to create a function called format file in which I will be doing the whole formatting as the function name obviously specifies. So def format file will have the whole function. Firstly I'll have to open this file over here. So let's do that. And I'll be opening it in read mode because I don't want to edit it, just read it. So file.txt we already have that and then R for reading. Then I'll be creating a second file, which will be a CSV file. So file CSV equals open. Let's just call it file2.txt. And then write. Although this file doesn't exist over here, since we have the write function, it will automatically create that file. Actually, let me name that file too. Let me just close them right now so that I don't forget later. File close and then file two dot close. There we go. Now we can do our work in the middle here. So we have to read through each line of the file. So for each student in file dot read lines, we need to get their ID, name, gender, and grade. And then we can append that to a list. So let me create a list called, let's call it student list. Now in order to get the data, we won't be able to split this file because the number of spaces are not standard. It's different between each of the data. So instead, I'll be using the index of each of the characters. So I know that this is zero and then I can just come forward and actually you don't even need to come forward. Right at the bottom over here, it will tell you which character is present at a certain location. 
uh, since I've already figured that out beforehand before making this video I'll just put them over here so we, we need an ID which will be student which is one line and then we go from the first character to the seventh character and I want to get rid of all the spaces so I'll strip it then let me do the same for the name gender and grade. Now that I have all the data from each line, I can just append that to the student list. So student list that append a new student with these with these ID with the ID name and gender as the actual parameters to create the new object. There we go. That's done. So we can now leave our loop and then go on and add these to the student, uh, to that to our new file, not the student list. That's already been done. So now we need to add these to file two. Oh, also since we don't need a txt file for the second one, we need a csv file. We need to add the appropriate extension. So for each line or each element in student list, we need to do that. So let me put s in student list let's go ahead and do file to dot write s dot id plus comma plus s dot name and then so on for each of the each of the data that we have up there I'll just copy that it becomes easier So S dot name and then S dot gender grade and then finally let me add a new line. And one more thing that you'll want to do is create a header for your CSV file. So let us do that. Let's copy this and then We don't need all this. All we need is one string which will look like this. So we have ID, the name, oops, okay, ID, the name, gender, get rid of the spaces, and then grade. Now let's run this. The reason why that didn't work is because I didn't even call the function. So we need to do that first. Format file. And let's run that again. Now if you look over here, the program has automatically created a new file which is a CSV file. So let's open that up. And there we go. We have our CSV file right here. Now if I were to open this in like Excel or something. It's easy enough. So let's go into our tutorial file and then open this up. And there we go. It has been converted into a CSV file. 